Okay, I'm here with Aaron Mills, Senior Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Special Olympics. A, a pretty big job, a cool job, and you've been connected with the Special Olympics for quite some time. What is your favorite thing about the state fall games here? Yeah, the, for the state fall games for me, it's just getting a chance to come out and actually be at the event itself because you know you do all this work for all these events and you're getting ready to get the word out spread the word and and put all the work in and it's seeing everybody's hard work come together and pay off for all of these athletes getting their chance to come out and really shine and have a chance to show everybody what they can do and they can do some incredible things i know that we do have some very talented athletes here but for for the men and women the kids that participate in special olympics what is the significance how significant is it in their life yeah, it's, I mean, it's easy to just say it's life changing, but it truly is. For a lot of these athletes, you know, they have never had a chance to feel a part of a team, feel, you know, to hear people cheering for them. You know, a lot of these athletes, they have people, you know, you, you grow up and you just kind of feel like an outsider. But it's one of those where when you're a volunteer, or you're coming out to see these events, you're experiencing it and you're feeling a part of their group. And it's just this really amazing sense of community. And it's, something that wherever you're from, whatever your background is, it's just a life altering experience, yes, for the athletes, but also for anyone who comes out to be a part of it. Yeah, like you said, just that feeling of maybe not always fitting in mm -hmm. in the day to day, yeah. then to discover maybe you've got a talent yeah. at one of these sports is huge. Yeah, we have athletes, you know, we have all levels of competition, just like you would see from different high schools, right? Like a class D or a class A, you see the different levels. But we have athletes that are some legit athletes. I mean, national level competition, world game level competition athletes and you see them out here and you you can't tell you can't tell if you weren't if it didn't say special olympics somewhere you wouldn't know that this is a special olympics event um what is something that you feel like you, you want people to know who aren't very familiar with special mm -hmm. olympics yeah so everybody kind of has an idea what special olympics is right but you don't get it until you're in it you get a chance to see it and so you know if you have a chance to make it out to one of these games here on Saturday or on Sunday or any of our events that we do throughout the year, just come out and experience it. You don't have to be an official volunteer. Just check it out. If you're on your way to the store when you're swinging through Canton, just check it out for a few minutes. And I, I promise you, you will be hooked. Um, and you had mentioned this earlier that the, the games, these are the state fall games, mm -hmm. but there are programs all year round. It's not just about this weekend. Yeah, we do 24 sports throughout the year. The state fall games, we have six state finals for six of those 24 sports. And so this is our big one in Southeast Michigan, but we do sports all year round. We do also free health screenings and, and uh, advice for athletes as well. They get free glasses if they need them at our state summer games. So it's a health organization, but number one, we're a sports organization, and people are going to see that this weekend. Okay, cool. Um, other skills, I'm sure there's social skills and mm -hmm. other things that really help that these that these men and women get to exercise. It's, it's true, yeah. We also have a, a training program for a lot of our athletes. We met a couple of our sisters earlier in the show, uh, earlier today, and, uh, you know, they go through training to become, you know, better equipped at, you know, talking, expressing themselves, and, and a lot of our athletes, that helps them in life, too, being able to get jobs and, and be just a regular part of the community. And so it, sports is really the gateway to changing life for them and in their communities as well.